Okay, so here's a couple examples just from a team that I coached a long time ago. Um, you might recognize one of the guys in here. Um, but uh, just to, just to, again, this is this is just for information. This is the way that I'd like to see us guard some situations. So they just got a rebound. We're hustling back on defense. He's going to pick up the ball. Yeah. And he picks the ball up high, right? He's making this kid uncomfortable. He's in his bubble. He's in the position to defend. Uh, he is high, guarding this guy, or maybe waiting for this guy. I'm not really sure. Um, we've got eye on the ball here. This guy is looking out of the corner. I don't know if he can actually see the ball, but he's looking in that direction, and we've got our help defender. Okay, so <clears throat> as we set up, this guy is outside the three-point line. He's ready to defend this guy. I don't want him all the way out here, but I like that he's in a position to defend at 24 feet or whatever. Okay, so hopefully this defender is going to come up and guard 10. All right, that's just way too easy of a pass. That's just way too easy of a pass. Here, this guy's pretty deep, so we'll allow that pass. Okay, and now... We're on the ball, we're attacking. He is looking like he's gonna be, I'm hoping he's gonna be in dig position. This guy sees the ball out of his corner, out of the corner of his eye, but he's also following, he's also following a cutter and he sees the ball and he's gonna step up hopefully to help here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we've got our dig, right? He jumps into the path of the ball. We've got our help position really high, right? He's not standing under the basket. He came high to help. He has now got the attention and he's ready to go either defend this guy or help if this guy makes some sort of a weird move. And he's in not only help position, but he's in dump down position. He doesn't want to run to help because then we've got dump down. He's just in a, I'm in help position and I've got dump down. Okay, so knock the ball away from him, recover out to our man. He's in a straight line between his man. He's in a straight line between his man. He's fighting for the ball, but this is his man, so that's a tough pass. And we've got our trailer. We just got beat. Okay, so that was a tough pass. Like, that's going to happen, right? So now we're in recovery. We're hopefully gonna bump this cutter. He's already touching this cutter and he's already touching this cutter. This guy's out of the play, so he's gonna recover to it. Oh my golly! Okay, so I, I know it doesn't seem like much, but this kid has got his hand on the cutter. It's not just a free cutter. He's got his hand on the cutter. He's gonna come and he's gonna fill this guy going to the corner. Okay, we're making it tough. Here's a ball screen and the defender just plain refuses to be screened. He's just going to get high. But the important thing is he's not trailing. He's leading, right? He sees this screen coming. And there's no, way or, there's no way that this guy can change directions and go back this way. Because we've got our helper recovering right behind. If he crosses over and goes back this way, he's right there to stop this. So on the ball, he's getting a ball screen. So he's going to fight through this screen He's not gonna get screen, he's gonna fight over and through the screen. You might notice this kid, it's kinda hard to see from this angle, but he's left a four foot gap because he saw the ball screen coming. I guarantee he was calling it. So if this player wanted to go through the gap, that would have been acceptable as well. He's in dig position and he's in full help position. Come on, come on. All right, so he fought over the top, uh, this is, He's kind of in dig position, so maybe this is tough to get out to, but he's going to be right on the ball when it lands, I assume. Oh, that's a trap. Good. He's on the ball. Again, this guy's got this illegal screen position where his leg's way out there, and this kid's just going to refuse. He's not leading right now. He's kind of trailing, uh, maybe even-ish. So he's the guy that's his man setting the screen. Uh, he's in help. He's in dig. He's guarding this guy way out here, so he's in sort of a tough, weird position. I assume that after this first dribble, I assume this kid's going to stop and get to the basket. Eh, kind of, not really. Good recovery. He got in front because he just refused to get screened. 
Okay, good. So I love this. So right here, we stop the ball. And this guy is jumping out here to make this pass not only difficult, but also if he throws a lazy pass, he's, he's already on the move. He's going to steal that thing and go for a layup. He's in full help position. He sees the ball. He's ready to make a play on this. He might, this is kind of hard to see this angle exactly. He might be half a step low, but he's in really pretty good position. We don't care about this guy out here because he's in help position. He's in help position. He's, uh, he's guarding this guy right here who might be coming to set another screen. So hopefully they're talking there. Okay. So now this guy decided to cut. And if you notice this, he is grabbing him. This is his, this is his fingers right here, I think. I think he's grabbing him because we don't just allow free cutters. He's recovering. Like I said, we didn't care about that kid. Now that the ball's coming to him, he's going to recover out to that. He's making this pass difficult. Obviously, um, this is a tough return pass. Hopefully, he's going to get his hand into that passing lane, but he's definitely close enough that if he stuck his hand out, it would be on the line of the ball. This guy is definitely in a position. His man's about to cut, so he's in a position, and he's. I promise you, even though I haven't watched this, I promise you this guy's not going to cut without getting touched. Okay. Good contact, full help position. He's on the dump down. He's in dig position. He's just stopping this guy from catching the ball. Big hands! Good help, good defense. I don't know what he's jumping out. He looks like a little bit of a clown, but okay. Big, big, box, big! Bravo. Not bad. Okay, so this is another example just of how we are improvising when something happens. This kid uh, gets screened on this play. He actually takes the screen. Um, I know this is my, maybe not the most appropriate thing to say, but like if you actually get screened, somebody should, somebody should pay for that. When this guy screens this, he feels that the next morning because this player slams into the screen. We don't want to slam into the screen, but sometimes you get screened. You can't help it, but this is a good example. And the kid makes a shot. It's fine, but it's a good example of how we take a screen and then Everybody is quick to help here. It's just a quick play that um, we get scored on, but I, it's a really good example of good defense, and particularly this kid right here who's in great help position, and he just puts his hands straight up. He's not trying to block every single shot. He's in great position. His hands are straight up. Guy makes a good shot over him. Not, not the end of the world. Okay, so on the drive, this kid's not really paying attention. Uh, just tell you this kid struggles defensively a little bit, so that's fine. This kid's ready for the crossover. He's ready to help. He is not in very good position. He maybe sees the ball, but he's not doing a great job of seeing the ball, and he's guarding this guy out here. Okay, good job being on ball. Here comes, the, here comes this screen, and now we have his attention. Earlier, it wasn't the end of the world that he was not seeing the ball because the ball was going away from him. But as soon as the ball turns, he's ready and he's going to be moving into help position. So you see him, he already took that one little false step. He sees his man just in case this guy throws a long, lazy pass. But now he's got his eye on the ball and he's ready to come into help position. Here comes the screen. This kid gets whacked. This guy's man, this guy did a terrible job of setting up the screen, so he's gonna have to help, and he comes and helps as well. So we're in good help position. This is a tough shot. Like, this is a tough shot. If all game long, this is what we get, is a tough shot like this, we will take this. Just good fundamental defense, nothing fancy, hands straight up, fine. The guy made a shot over him, uh, but. I like what happened on the screen. He got caught on the screen and we helped and we were in position to help. Okay, so I'm gonna show just a couple quick possessions here. Um, again, this is not exactly what I want us to do now. Um, and you'll see maybe in this play, this guy attacks pretty hard, um, which is why I've kind of gone to guarding all the way out here. Um, we picked up right at the three point line in these days. Um, but this is a pretty good indication of um, just, just the way that we help and the way that we uh, interact defensively. 
Okay. Come on! So we're on the ball. There's a little bit of physicality there. These two guys are talking right here. This guy's about to come off a screen. And these two guys are just working together. I think he's going to fight over the top. This guy is maybe half a step behind. I'd like him maybe a half a step further. But you see how he's got his left hand out. Um, and he's moving in that direction. So he's going to get to this position. He's sees the ball. He's in help position. He doesn't see the ball, but that's because they're working with this screen right here. Um, and he's immediately going to get into help position. Okay, see, he immediately turns and sees help position. This guy comes under that screen, and he's just going to meet the guy on the other screen. You can see them talking right here. He's pointing, trying to, trying to talk about this screen. But you see, this is a perfect example of the position that I want us to be in. The ball, chest, his hand is basically close enough that he's in that passing lane same here he's a step closer to the ball because he wants to be a little bit in the help position but he's also on there's no way this kid can throw a straight line to this these two guys are working through the screen that was kind of a tough down screen um and uh this guy went underneath it so he's going to meet him on the other side kind of puts us in a tough position but um it's, it's a pretty tough action to defend Okay, so he jumps out into the passing lane. He's trying to get have recovery here, but this is this is where you see this situation where our help defender right here does not care about this guy. And I can tell you this right now: this guy's the best player on the court. He's coming out here, and he's just no threat here. He has no idea where his man is, which isn't a great thing. But that's because he sees what's happening here. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a backdoor cut to this guy. So he's in full help position. He sees this coming. He's in help position. And that's going to have what's going to happen here. I don't know. <laughs> Boom. Okay. The guy opens up. He sees that nothing's happening there. So he's going to come back and find his man. He's in help now. He sees and he's in dig position. He's in a little bit of a weird position here, but he's... Um, I think it's just kind of tough to see. I think that this straight line, I think number 22 here is in that, is in that passing lane. Okay, good. So a little elevator screen here. A little bit of help. I like it. Okay, good. He's in dig now. He's in full help. All right, recovery. He goes to the ball. So these guys are obviously talking. Number 24 is kind of caught in no man's land. Hopefully he's going to go pick this guy up. He is. Now we've got a cutter. He's kind of fallen in love with the ball a little bit. He is staring. He's staring at the ball. Doesn't see this back cutter, which is definitely not a good thing, but it happens. Okay, so they had that cut over the top. This is a long pass, so this is good recovery here. By the time he recovers, good, good. good. Okay, uh, and this is this is just exactly what I'm talking about here. This guy, I would like him to be coming hard, but he's in dig position. He's going to knock that ball away. He's got a shoulder into his shoulder. And he came into help position. Let's go! So, one of the reasons why I changed picking up a little bit higher is for exactly this reason right here. This guy, by the time he gets to our defender, he's already going, maybe not full speed, but he could be going full speed. He's going pretty fast, and it's really hard to stop somebody when you're standing still and they're coming at you full speed. So, I'm gonna, it's kind of hard to rewind these just a little tiny bit. No! So you'll see he picks up speed. So he's coming at. We got a hand down to make sure he doesn't cross over. A little deeper than I would like. Look at this guy. This is exactly what I'm talking about. His left hand is in that passing lane. This is not a possible pass because he's standing in this passing lane. This guy is far away from this guy, but he's 30 feet away from the basket. This is too far. He's in full help position. And he's got his eye on the ball, and he's in, I'm defending the dump down position. Good job of stopping the ball. Okay, so he starts to come left. You see this guy get into his dig, and then now the ball goes away. Let's see if this guy's going to help dig. 
No, not really. Well, we did a good job of containing. There wasn't really a, it wasn't attacking the basket. He's just kind of going to the baseline. Good. Now this guy's going to hopefully jump out and be in this, close to this passing lane. Good. Right? This is a, this is a tough shot. This is a NBA three and we give that up. So he got into a position to make that pass a little bit tougher. Okay. Now he's going out to try to make this guy uncomfortable. He's going to recover out into the passing lane, I think. Good. Ball goes away. So he's help, sees the ball. He's dig. He's on ball. Right now, we got a cutter, and this guy is going to put a body on and not just let a free cutter go. Good. Body, body, body. Good. Nice. Now, he's coming toward, so he's going to be in his dig position. He did a really good job here of following the cutter, and now he's turning, and I'm assuming he's going to jump into what would be help position if that guy talks about it. Um, not quite, but... Okay, good. Good. Gets through that little slip screen. Good. Pushes the guy to his left. Good help. Great help. Oh, Good. Yeah. And that little dig right there. Let me see if I can go back. Oh, yeah. That little dig right there. Defense! Okay, so it's a little like a dribble handoff. It was just like a dribble handoff. It was kind of before dribble handoffs, but it was just like a dribble handoff. Now we've got defender. And this little dig is going to stop this guy from going where he wants to go. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's go. Pick up on defense. All right, good. Dig position, dig position. He's hopefully seeing the ball and going to stop right there. D up. D up, bud. Okay, good. He's in help. He's in help. He's in dig. D up. Good. We give up that shot. We give up that shot. Shut up, boy, Bach. Another layup. Go dog! Go dog! Very good. Ah, right, go. Look at that. Good. Get him off the line. Oh, take your charge. Love it. Very really good. And then this is me saying, "Hey, dude, like, can you use your left hand and put the ball in the basket, please?"